Oh yeah, easily. Okay, power test. If I just do the same thing, I should be fine. Yeah, more weight. If you go with more weight, just make sure the balance points. Oh, I, I could. I should definitely put some flaps on that. <laughs> I can get that a lot. That sound. Yeah, whole, yeah, fo right. a whole football length for, for going. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, if you. Have you? Oh, dude, that's just beautiful. Look at that. You're just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. The hot weeds got caught in ice, man. All right. Here's the final setup as we had it for Maiden. Uh, the battery was all the way forward. This is a Nanotech 5,000 uh, 5, milliamp 4590C. The motor was as we did it. Um, if you look around in the back, uh, the front booms were stuck in four inches where you see these tape marks in the back they are set equally at four and three quarters um, to get it to balance perfectly four and three quarters from here from to here, right? from from the from the white to the back of the boom was four and three quarters to get it balanced let me do this show you how it balanced out it was sitting just like that a little bit heavy with the nose on it um, all right can you pick it up for me I want to show the underside the final connection I was talking about was here I put the velcro on here and here so I can make the connection easily outside the plane um, this is where my FPV gear is gonna go over here on this side, this is my UHF's gonna set up. Um, I personally believe in never uh, maidening with all your gear on it. Here's my LED lights that are closer. You've got um, green on your left wing and red on the right. And the red LEDs, top and bottom. And I, for the maiden, I just put uh, duct tape on it. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, oh, servo setups, let me go ahead and put it down. Servo setups, um, we had exponential rates on the ailerons were at 50, and on the rear, um, we left that at 100% so that you're, you have plenty of um, elevator for uh, landing and takeoff. Um, I wouldn't suggest going more than 50 for flying uh, in your initial flight because they get rather, rather pitchy. That's it. Gotta have it so we can see the sun too. Do you want it in metric or? Let's do metric and then inches. Is that 100%? Is that 100%? At 100%, the throws are about two mil. Oh no, not, not two, millimeters. Two uh, millimeters. That's millimeters. No, it's sitting at 16 millimeters. 16 millimeters, how do you get that? Uh, 
These are in centimeters. Oh, sorry, centimeters. So that is 10 millimeters, and it's sitting right there, okay, which sorry. is 16. So throw up is 16. Up throw is about 16 millimeters. Top of the wing to top of the aileron. Top of the wing, top of the aileron. And then going down, we're sitting at... Down is... Oh, we're actually sitting at... 19. So 19. We'll, we'll okay. probably have a little bit of an adverse yaw problem with this plane, right. which we might need to correct. But anyway, that, well. adverse yaw. But that'll be, um, that gives you an idea of what our 100% is, and then we tune that down, tone that down by 50% on the radio. Okay. So then on the elevator side, oh, here. the elevator is surprisingly sensitive. It's getting windy. Yeah, it is. Alright, so starting here. Yep. Measuring off the can't see it. Okay. Measuring the trailing edge, starting there and then jumping up, we have, looks like... That's 100%? Yeah, that's 100%. It looks like... Um, start there and then go up there, it looks like 7. 7 or 8 millimeters, somewhere in there. Okay. And then going down is going to be... We'll start at the 1. Oh, yeah, wow, there's a lot more down. Why is that? Right now you're sitting at about 14 millimeters down. Okay. And 14 so, millimeters down? We had a great maiden. <laughs> no mistakes. Even though we were doing that in some pretty heavy thermals um, here in Colorado, rain was changing every couple minutes, so from different directions. Uh, brought it in for a beautiful landing. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.